Hello my YouTubers, Mmod is here in the flesh. First I want to thank my new friends, you subscribers. You have made me reach over 100 subscribers. I'm glad you enjoy my channel as I enjoy building my models. There are many other genres I like to build besides ships. There are planes, armor, civil, real science, science fiction, and a few others. So please stay tuned. And I hope to look for your comments on any questions you have about my builds. So stay tuned and thanks a lot. Arigato con Gaimashira. Hello James Webbers and Mata speaking to you on our final final completed video of the James Webb Space Telescope. It took a bit of time due to working constantly but the James West is nearing completion. Just to get you caught up there were a bit of difficulties with how I wanted the sun shield layers to be appearing. how the so-called anchors are holding up those layers, attaching the sunshield pallets, and lastly the mid-boom assemblies. It would seem that the wires around the perimeter of each of the sunshield's layers was just a bit too weak. By not gluing or soldering them together, it doesn't provide enough strength to hold up the entire shield. So it was either redo all of them or make something work. More about that a little bit later. As for the pallets, I tried using a hot glue gun to attach them. No bueno! It melted the vinyl and shrunk it a bit near the attachment point. So instead, I used crazy glue on some of these supports. Inside and added a brass wire of about 0.81 millimeter to give the J-Wes that angle that you would see in the back end. I also experiment with a strip of rigid thin plastic. That's the one that you use for packaging and what I did was I basically got a strip of this, this packaging material here, crazy glued it onto the other layers and that seems to work pretty well. I ran some of the same type of brass wire across the new fabricated mid-booms. So now the mid-booms can be attached and supported, keeping the sun shield layers rigid. As for the anchors, well, I had to make them more robust so that they could take the strain of the supporting wires and the shield layers.
Let me tell you, you keep bringing that dog in, but you never take care of her. <laughs> I mean...